hello guys how are you doing i hope you're doing great from wherever you're watching i trust that you guys are doing fine and it's your girl queen dida and welcome back to my channel and of course this must be your favorite channel and if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit that button and turn on the notification so that you can get all the new videos and if you're returning subscriber thank you so much for always staying connected for always liking for always sharing for always commenting yeah there's some people who just leave me some sweet comment and i'm so 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 happy to have you guys around so guys today again i want to talk about something that happened to me four months ago yeah i want uh you guys you can help me to share this video to make people aware of certain things or certain people that are not that do not have good intentions in our lives so guys this is what happened so uh currently as you all know or if you don't know i work in saudi arabia and um sometimes when you have some money in the bank you like okay why should i leave the money in the bank maybe i should invest something and maybe in return i'll get like double or triple interest uh comparing to the bank where i'll just get a small portion of uh interest or maybe i don't even get so this what um okay we have a problem when we come here we don't have financial understanding or knowledge we're not trained about uh, how to deal with money for the first time maybe some of us we've never held a lot of money in our hands maybe we are used to seeing like eight thousand and you come here maybe you see over twenty thousand so sometimes you like you surprised you you so excited and you're like okay i want to do this and this you don't even consult you just do things because you feel like i want to do those things so guys if you're working abroad or you're working in gulf country or you have a relative who is planning to come to gulf or you have a relative who is in gulf please always train them if you have that knowledge always train them always train them how to manage their money this is very important some of us from kenya we came without even bank account we only save in our mpesa sometimes we trust our relative sometimes we trust our parents sometimes we trust our siblings sometimes we trust our friends and this is where we have very many people complaining some people they even go back home and they find empty bank yeah we had a woman this year who had worked for 10 years in saudi arabia and she used to send her money all her savings to her daughter but when she went back after 10 years she found nothing and on top of that she found so many pending bills so guys please if you have this knowledge please kindly share it with your relative or your friends or whoever just share it with someone so this is what happened to me so i had some savings and i was like let me invest this so i had to sit down and sit down and uh come out with something that is going to give me a good income yeah a good interest so i had my friend and we collaborated i told her let's do this let's look for something that we can do and it's going to pay us good instead of saving money in the bank let's do something that's going to uh pay as well so um i came with an idea uh farming i've always loved farming farming has been in my blood <laughs> like right now i want to do farming because i know how great it can be i've seen some of um, my friends who have succeeded with farming they have built houses bought cars and they are able to um pay fee and every bill for their in their life they are able to sustain their life so i decided why not try farming and she was like okay let's start with a small portion then later on we can add something on top so i had a friend a childhood friend and i trusted him so much he's a family friend my parents know him very well um my brother knows him very well we used to live in the same place back then when i was in kenya so uh we know his family and we know they are royal so um i decided because i saw uh we used to talk and he told me what he's doing and it's good and he used to encourage me please try this it's very very good it's not going to fail you it's like 
a sure bet. So I was like, why not try this? So I told my brother, we talked with I talked with him and I talked to my friend and we came to an agreement, okay, let's proceed on this. So I sent him on a mission. I told him, you go there, I'll be sending money. Please, when you leave that place, make sure everything is done and you go back to school because my brother is still in college and he depends on me. So my brother went there and he left and everything was done, like done, like done. We had the land, we had the, the, the seedlings, we had the fertilizers, we had the labor done, everything was done. So we were waiting just maybe for the laughing, just waiting for... Me ni kofiti, sina ubaya. Eh, ni venye tu ni mesema ni chukwe, nini, alafu ndiyo ni kuambie juma saa mingi mimi siku wangi available na kuchatu. Eh, mikono inakuwa matope, kuna nyesha, niko busy. Eh, sasa ni mesema ni pate hii nafasi, alafu ni kuambie. Eh hey, time mingi time yenye uoni hatu chat ujue tu mambo iko poa Eh hey, shamba iliisha hey, na tulipanda shamba ni smart sana Alafu hapo ni kuonana Sasa nataka ile sehemu yenye ilibaki nunua hizo mbegu ilikuwa imebaki kama mbili lakini nimenunua tatu Kibaki ni sawa ndio tufunike wote E, na mande nitaenda na nimalizie kupanda alafu nitafute watu kama saba tawasimamia waende wapiga piga hiyo nyasi ilikuwa juu kulikuwa nyasi yenye ilikuwa imebaki getira haikukatakatwa na tinga ni katakate na watu na mikono alafu hiyo shamba itakuwa smart na hapo kuna hope hapo uko mbele JD e, na sasa ni hiyo tu nilikuwa nakuambia E, na ukae roho yako ikiwa safi na ukiomba Mungu na pesa itapatikana au kubahatisha hapo umengangana na hapo hakuna kubahatisha sasa ni pesa ipatikane kama ni ya kupalilia inakuwa ready kama ni dawa inataka inapigwa kenye inaitisha inapatiwa ndiyo pesa ipatikane e, na sasa tutaongea na tutazidi jadi maybe spring we just waiting yeah something like that so um after sometimes this guy this friend of mine i think i should name his name i should name him because <laughs> there's no there's no okay i'm not going to hide a criminal he's a criminal he's a total criminal so he's called david wawero from narok he's living in tipis yes so this guy, this David, he's a half cast of, I think, Samburu, Masai, and Kikuyu. Uh, he's, you know, some people, they talk this and talk this. Yeah? I know his mom is a, uh, a Kikuyu, but there's some blood, like Masai, Samburu, something there. So, I'm not going to hide anything about him because he's a criminal. And maybe this, someone is going to share this video and I want it to reach him. I want it to reach him because he did something bad. So, um, after some times, as obvious, those who are farming, you know, when it rains, you have to send money for the, I don't know, uh, medicine, uh, the, 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 the what, the pesticide, I don't know, the insecticide, the, 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 the. so I used to send money every, after two weeks, I used to send money. <laughs> Ni smart. Kini baridi ni mingi. Kwa smart sana. Ndiye za viazi jidi. Nianza kutoa maua moja moja. Very smart.
Morigone was your motto. I could. Young and an eight age did. The young one of any job in the end there. Who took a corner or saffy? No queer on a stress. Cousin and the dear smart. None of yours. Send your Jama and a chota magi pale Jew. Give a good jack, so a pig. Kiwa hapo, kiwa hapo nadhani unaona watu wakiwa pale juu kwa zile nyumba kuna maji wanachota hasa dawa ianze kupigwa Sao, wale ni pande ni Angalia ni mix hizo dawa ndi hasa ianze kupigwa, nita kupigi ingini Mani either for the fertilizer, for the bluffing or anything like that so I had, I always kept my uh, messages. Like when I send, I have to save that. I send this amount of money. And my friend used to send me, or sometimes I used to tell her, send the money to him, and please don't delete those messages. So we used to keep all the record by ourselves. So this guy, so the potatoes, they're supposed to take three to four months, a maximum of four months. So uh, when it reached the third month, he told me the price is very low. We're not going to harvest. And I was like, okay, let me do my research and see if we can sell or we can wait. So I did a little research and um, my friends helped me and told me, yeah, right now in Kenya, it's very bad. It's this season, there are so many, uh, we have a lot of competition. So many people planted potatoes, they're harvesting. So the market is too low. So I decided and I talked with my friend and we came to an agreement. Okay, let's wait for another one month since we were not in a hurry. We are not in a hurry. So we waited for another one month and uh, the guy just, um, I don't know, he used, he didn't even pick my call. I used to call him. He don't pick my calls. He used to ask for more money, more money, more money, more money. And every excuse that he used to give me, he used to convince me. And because I've never done farming before, so I used to, okay, 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 no problem, no problem. So the last time, uh, uh, after some times, I told him, enough is enough. Just harvest whatever it is. There no more money because it's costing me more than what it, maybe it's going to give me. And it's, I don't know what the, it's going to give me because it's something in the soil, in the farm. I don't know what it's going to give me. <laughs> So, um, the fourth month, his phone, I used to call him, he doesn't pick my phone. So I told my mom, call him and ask him, why is he not picking my call? So he used to say his phone is uh, not working. So he is using the katururu. We call it uh, this one, not a smartphone, the button phone. So um, my mom assured me everything is all right. My brother used to call him and he told me he... Everything is working good. Just be patient. And okay, I trusted them. But after some times, my conscience told me, no, no more excuse. Nothing is going to stop me this time. It used to tell me, my conscience used to tell me something fishy is going on. So I told my brother, the fifth month, now four months are over. I used to tell my brother, please go. Tomorrow morning, I want you to wake up very early. In fact, he woke up. He used to, uh, he started his journey at uh, 4 a.m. in the morning. And I told him, you just go and please make sure you don't go direct to him. Go first to the farm and check if everything is okay. So um, he did as I said. Then when he went to the farm, he was surprised and he, he found whatever he found. So I uh, didn't talk to me. He didn't tell me. He arrived. So later on, I called him. He didn't pick my calls. And I was like, oh, my God, did he have an accident or what? But he used to blue tick me and gray tick me. So it annoyed me. It annoyed me so much. So I called my mom and asked her what happened. And uh, she told me, your brother can't pick your calls. And I asked him. I asked her. I asked my mom, did my brother had an accident? And she told me, no. 
your brother is very much okay but right now she he can't talk to you and i ask do i do something wrong to upset him he can't even pick my calls or reply my messages she told she told me no you didn't do anything wrong but uh, sooner or later you're going to find out what, what's going on so <laughs> told her okay no problem so um uh, my conscience always follow your conscience if your conscience tells you something is not working well please don't if your conscience tells you don't climb on this car because something bad is going to happen please don't so in the beginning when i was doing this project i was in the middle something told me dedida please don't trust this person at the beginning i i trusted him but the more we were doing this deal he was bragging too much i don't like people who brag people who brag they exaggerate some someone can just tell you you're going to get a million some people they just exaggerate too much so uh okay i used i i felt like i want to give up and um my friend encouraged me my brother encouraged me everyone encouraged me i almost okay like i wanted to sell it when it was in the middle so they told me no 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 did it and no 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 you already started so you have to complete it at some point i wanted to change the management because he was the one he was the manager i wanted to change him as the manager and give to someone else and he was so up, upset he, he was very really upset and he made me send that person for two days and i had to pay for the transport for the labor just for nothing uh, so i felt like oh god here i just don't know what's going on because i don't trust this anymore i just leave this to god please god i just leave this to you so my brother uh, later on he answered my text and he replied to me and he told me i can't talk to you right now please talk to your aunt that is my mom's sister in law so i told her, him no i'm not going to talk to him so my aunt also texted me and told me that uh, there's something that is going on but um, they're trying to do as much as they can to solve it so i told her if there's nothing else can be done please just tell me just tell my brother to go home not to waste time it's like i already knew i was dealing with a stupid man so um my my brother stayed and we talked and uh my brother my dad was all around so they waited for my mom my mom came also my dad he, he had to travel to come to see if they going to get a solution out of this so um that guy he's like stupid guy i don't know if he used drugs or something there's someone who is so stupid someone stupid someone who can tell you no this is mine this is my you don't have anything to do with this this is my business he was not even scared this this my parents he didn't even have any respect he didn't have any respect for my parents he almost beat my dad to be honest you now i'm going to put his pictures here yeah i'm going to put his picture here at the end of uh, this video and his audios i'm going to put them he almost beat my parents so my parents tried to talk to him without involving the police but he was too arrogant he was too arrogant very arrogant very very arrogant so he didn't listen to them he didn't give any money the money that he said he was supposed to give me okay he said i have a said okay i have a said but I didn't get good money. And why did you have it in the first place? Who gave you the permission? You're just a manager. Who gave you the permission to have it? And he said that's none of your business. <laughs> he talked too much. So um my brother, I told him just go to the police station and report. So at first he reported to the first police station. I think he bribed the police. So the police say they are not going to arrest him. You know? So we had to go to another police station which was higher than this one. So they went and reported the case. We were given an OB. 
But these policemen, they wanted us to bribe them. So, as a Kenyan citizen, you know you have to give out something small. So I paid them. I paid them for them to do their job. So after I paid them, uh, they went and arrested him. And um, the following day, my parents went. And the guy actually said that he was going to marry me. Not that this guy to defend himself. He actually said that he was going to marry me. He said that we had a relationship. And da 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 so he refused to talk to me because I told the, the sergeant, whoever was in charge of whatever, that I want to talk to him. I want to talk to him. I want to hear him tell me why. Why did he have to do that to me? And he knows how much I struggled in this place just to make sure that I give my daughter a good life. And he knows, he knows, he knows how much work we do here. So um, he promised that uh, he was going to give the money and they fetched his motorbike and um, it was supposed to be there until he pays back the money. So unfortunately, that motorbike was not his. It was for a company, from a certain company in uh, Narok. So there was no way I was going to take it. So after some time, after... Three months. Uh, after three months, I saw this was zero work. He was not paying the money. <laughs> the company wanted the motorbike. And he's not someone to deal with. At first, he's, I think he has a problem with his mental. He's not, I think he uses something like a drug or something. So he didn't pay me even a single cent. Um, the one who even went a lot because I had to pay for my mom and dad and brothers accommodation food for one week. I had to, to, to give something to Kidogo for those people to make a follow-up. Because obviously, they think you have the money. They think you have the money. So um, I didn't get any justice. I didn't get even a single cent. I wasted my airtime, my whatever. I wasted a lot of money. And now I have to pay back my friend. I have to pay back my friend bit by bit because 200 Kenyan thousand shillings, oh, 100. It's not easy like to give someone cash 100 Kenyan shillings. So it's so sad now I'm in the process. So yeah, oof, I have to pay her. Now, I don't know, this person just forgiving. God says that we should forgive. But I wanted to, like, release what I feel inside of me. Because after I received that news, I didn't eat for almost four days. I lost weight. I lost appetite. I, my mood, I used to work in this house, like, I almost, I felt like it was the end of the world. But I thank God that he stood by me. It's not like I had an accident or someone cut my hands. I'm still alive. And I want to make sure that this video circulates. And guys, please help me to circulate this video. I'll put his pictures there. And uh, I want to create awareness for people who are abroad, who are planning to come. Please don't trust anyone. May it be your parents, may it be your friends, may it be your husband or wives. Don't trust anyone with your money. Keep your money until you return to Kenya and you can invest it for yourself. Because money is like a devil. Money does not have any... Okay, Jadini, Sawa. Na... Tazianika zot, Kiria Yode, Duke, Kiria Mogodo, she holded it, Gilde, Nego Kiatica, Gilde Gilde, Yabago Yadago Ragato Fauti, Gagoragoro, Vitigo, Ria, Miramita Matato, Adorama Utireira, Oria to Diete, Oria de Hete, Ginia Mogodo, she, Nitandika zot, Niambu Kamaniki to Akuna, Zot, 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 and Andika Kesh. Tapiga picha, pekea wa shida na nikuweke. Alafu waone kama hiyo kazi ilifanyika ama ninasema kenya kuna. Na asitanganye.